Good morning, Betty. How are you? Good morning, Miss Donna. Oh, Betty, you don't seem very happy this morning. What's wrong? I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. What are you waiting for? Miss Donna, the quarantine to be over. Duh. Yeah, this quarantine's been pretty rough. What do you miss the most, Betty? I miss church. I miss playing with my friends and worshiping God. And most of all, I wish learning about God. Miss Donna, church keeps me going during the week. And now I can't have it because of the quarantine. Yeah. You know, there's a story in the Bible about someone else who had to wait. Do you know what today is called? No, what's today? Today is Palm Sunday. And in the Bible, it tells a story about the Israelites who had to wait hundreds of years for someone that was called the Messiah. Do you know what the Messiah is, Betty? Yes, I do. The Messiah is God's son that was promised to earth. Well, you know, the Israelites had to wait a very long time, like hundreds and hundreds of years for that years? yeah for that promised messiah you know god always keeps his promises yes he does even though the israelites had to wait hundreds of years but when the time was right jesus was born that's right but even after jesus was born they still had to wait a couple years miss donna how did they know that he was the messiah well, that's a good question, Betty. I know. I'm pretty smart. God sent the prophets special messages to let the people know what signs to look for. Wow. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he. Humble and riding on a donkey. On a colt, the fall of a donkey. At the right time, Jesus began to travel to the city of Jerusalem. As he was on his way, he sent two of his disciples into a nearby village. Jesus told us to go to the village. Just ahead, we will find a donkey. Look, look, a colt, a young donkey. That's what Jesus said. Let's untie him. What are you done? What did Jesus say? The Lord needs it. The Lord needs it. So... Did they ever get the donkey? Yes, Betty, they did get the donkey. As a matter of fact, as they were traveling to meet Jesus, the disciples took their coats off and they put it on the back of the donkey to give Jesus a place to sit. And after Jesus sat on the donkey, they traveled to a place called Jerusalem where a big crowd had gathered for a celebration. And in that crowd, there were some people who had heard about Jesus. And they were waving palm branches and shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! Glory to God in the highest! What does Hosanna mean? Because I have a cousin named Anna, and I'll never yell at her. Yeah, it sounds kind of funny, but there's some words sound similar, but they have me different meanings. Hosanna means saves us. So they were shouting, save us! Save us! Jesus came to save us from our sins. Jesus is the Messiah! That's right, Betty. You remembered my words from the very beginning. Yes, I did. Jesus is the Messiah. And, but do you know there were some Jewish leaders that did not like that the people were shouting to Jesus? And they went to Jesus and they said, Tell your people to stop shouting praises. But they can't stop shouting praises to God. Oh, don't worry. Jesus said, I can't stop them because if they don't shout, even the rocks would cry out. <gasps> like the rocks on the ground? Yes, the rocks on the ground because it was so important for the people to know that Jesus was the promised Savior that if they didn't shout it, the rocks were going to shout it. That's funny that the rocks cry out. <laughs> God's promise has come, and everyone needs to know. That's right, Betty. God's promise is for everyone. God loves us so much. He loves our families. He even loves the rocks. Wait, does he love me? He loves you too, Betty. I like that. I like that too.